This video shows how to measure fuel pressure on KTM and Husqvarna fuel injected two strokes and four strokes. This is my 2019 KTM 250 XETPI, uh, but most late model uh, four strokes and also uh, Husqvarna uh, fuel injected two strokes are exactly the same. Um, in the tank, there's the fuel pump, and uh, to measure the fuel pressure, uh, there's a handy quick release uh, fuel connector here, which I've already disconnected. So this is connected to the tank, and this part here goes to the uh, fuel injection system. So to measure the pressure, uh, you can use a uh, fuel pressure meter uh, with a hose to connect it in line. Here you can see the fuel pressure gauge that I have. Uh, it contains the meter which reads from 0 up to 140 psi and uh, various connectors and hoses. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the right uh, connectors for my KTM. Um, so I'm going to have to make that up. So I'll show that next. So to make up the adapter hose so I can connect my fuel pressure gauge, um, I purchased some parts from KTM. Uh, so these three parts are KTM original parts. The one in the middle uh, connects the tank and it's metal. And uh, I should note it's quite expensive. Uh, so if you want to save some money, I think a plastic version is available uh, from aftermarket sources. So you want to, might want to look into that. I'll put all the part numbers in this description. Uh, the O-ring is for this connector. And uh, then there's a plastic connector to go the other side. Um, and then the parts at the bottom, I got some uh, fuel line hose from my uh, local KTM dealer. You only need a couple of short bits. And uh, this T-connector was actually included uh, in my fuel pressure gauge set. So I'm going to use that and uh, it has a uh, threaded adapter which screws into the hose on the pressure gauge. So this will be very easy to use. To ensure a good seal between the fuel line and connectors, uh, you need to use some hose clamps. And my preferred uh, hose clamps are these Otica stepless ear clamps. And I bought this kit a while ago and it's proved to be very handy. Uh, it has various different clamp sizes and also some uh, pliers to do the clamps up. Uh, for this application, my fuel line is 14 millimeters. So I'm gonna be using uh, this 15.7 size, which works from 13.2 uh, to 15.7. So those will be perfect. Okay, now I'm ready to assemble the adapter. And uh, I'm gonna be using a small amount of silicone grease on the fittings just to ensure the uh, fuel line slides on nice and easily. And just press the fuel line on first. And then you can put your uh, Otica clamps on. And then you can assemble uh, the rest of it. Okay, that's what the adapter looks like before uh, tightening up the clamps. I did a quick test fit on the bike uh, just to make sure it fits okay, and it does. Uh, the overall length is about 25 centimeters or 10 inches. And uh, I made it this long uh, so that uh, it's fairly flexible. If you make it very short, uh, you might have issues, uh, but having some flexibility in it, I think uh, will help and ease installation. And then to uh, tighten the clamps, uh, use the supply pliers and uh, carefully squeeze. Make sure you have the, uh, the clamp in the right place and just snug it down like that. And before you use the adapter, make sure you fit the O-ring on this connector here. And I've smeared some uh, silicone grease on here. It makes it a lot easier to assemble and disassemble. And uh, here you can see uh, the complete assembly with the fuel pressure gauge. Okay, I've got everything connected now. I've got my adapter and the fuel pressure gauge um, hooked up, uh, held in place with uh, some wire here. And uh, I'm going to press the starter so it, it uh, starts the fuel pump and you should be able to see the fuel pressure uh, without the bike running first. And then I'll start the bike afterwards and see how the pressure changes. Okay, so just uh, pressing the starter, uh, you can see I've got about 44 PSI. Uh, so next I'll try starting the bike and see if that changes. <laughs> so 
So with the bike running, uh, the pressure goes up to about 48 PSI. So now I have my fuel pressure measurements. I'll be able to refer back to these when I make future measurements and uh, be able to figure out, uh, for example, if the fuel pump is going bad and needs replacing. Obviously you want to do the initial fuel pressure measurement uh, when the bike is uh, still relatively new and you know the fuel pump is in good condition. Um, my bike has done about 21 hours now so it's still relatively new and uh, I'll be able to use these as a, a good reference going forwards. And when you finish using the uh, fuel pressure gauge one safety note is to re release the pressure of the fuel uh, using this switch uh, which drains into a hose. So just place a container underneath it and uh, drain it out this way. If you don't release the pressure before you take it apart you could have it spray in your face or eyes uh, which be, would be uh, very painful so uh, be careful about that and use this. Quite a few people have requested to buy Tokyo Off-Road t-shirts and I've designed some and they're available now on Store Frontier. Uh, the colors are navy, black, orange and white uh, sizes S through 5XL and all of them are 100% cotton Gildan heavyweight shirts, $20 plus shipping. Uh, shipping is from in the US, so if you're located there, it's pretty cheap. If you're overseas, uh, it's a little bit expensive to ship, so you might want to do a group buy with some friends. <music> 